be 6 GPS and today we're going to show you about uh, programming your your uh, THD 74 in the DR mode for some uh, hot spots and uh, maybe uh, repairing your uh, D star repeater file so just uh, just give you a quick uh, show you what we're talking about here um, the DR mode is real really efficient to get uh, to different reflectors on the uh, D74 you push the bottom button right here right below the int ENT and that gets you into a repeater list and what I've created here is um, a uh, D star repeater list uh, from just my hotspots in North America and you can see that uh, uh, the guys at dstarinfo.com have done a good job um, producing a, a pretty good pretty good list of repeaters and I'm going to show you how I edit it down to where I just got hot spots and I've got a variety of hot spots here a DVAP mega and a shark and I'm able to go in and uh, select the different ones um, the different ones so anyway that's that's kind of what we're going to show you today so let's set the radio aside first thing you're going to do is go to dstarinfo.com you're going to go to the download section repeater list for the DR mode radios going to select that going to scroll down here put in your uh, location I'm going to put Chattanooga look up location gives me where I'm at uh, select the radio Kenwood's going to be down here uh, for the um, American or North American market you're going to select the A uh, Europe is E so we're going to select A um, down here where it says empty slots uh, I'm going to put 50 for right now and what that does is instead of filling up the whole 1500 D star repeater slots it's going to leave a, a 50 slots blank so they're going to download it and I'm going to do a uh, save as and I'm going to put it on my desktop I already have it on there but I'm just going to go and re replace it okay so now we're, we're done with the website there so you click out of that and so here's here's the file right here this file right here is the uh, the repeater list that I just downloaded now I'll go over here and I do a right click on my uh, MCP D74 run as administrator and it asked a question and I say yeah so it opens up uh, make sure you have the current version there's a new one just uh, uploaded uh, here in January so while it's waking up we're gonna go down here to the bottom of the page and eh, just leave that just say okay to that and you're gonna import list from file so right down here import list from file we're gonna open it up that file that we uh, we downloaded right here that was on our desktop it's KRNATHD74 I open it up and I want to make sure I choose the uh, A market or E market or Japan market but for for me I choose the A market because that's what my radio is okay so disregard that some data comment now uh, I want, I want to make it I want to do something here and, and uh, I don't want my Europe or Canadian friends be offended but I'm just gonna select this or if you're European you could just select the Europe uh, stations um, but what we have to do first is we have to go over here on the last column right here and do a pull down it's gonna take a little bit of time but we're gonna we're gonna uh, highlight these then we're eventually gonna delete them so I'm going to speed this up a little bit all right when we get start getting to North America uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna delete Canada for right now for myself first ones for uh, 
United States is it'll be uh, uh, up in Arkansas. So with that highlighted right there, hit the delete key. And what that does is that deletes all the repeaters uh, from Europe uh, that we don't need. Now scroll to the bottom and you're going to kind of do the same thing and, uh, and you're going to remove the, uh, the um, repeaters from uh, South America and uh, uh, Central America. So we just want to clean this, clean this off right here. Again, highlight it on the, the end right there. Hit the delete button. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we're gonna, there's a place here called Edit Area. We're gonna go into there and um, we're gonna create, uh, it's, it's a world region, but it's like a, it's like a major area. And we're gonna call it Hotspot. So Hotspots, um, while we're over here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean off all these because we removed everything from Europe and we want to just go ahead and take all these um, countries, Europe countries, and uh, clean that off. So I'll speed this up again. Okay, you, you kind of get the idea. So we're, we're not going to take time to do everything, but we're going to do it for, for just right now. Okay, so hotspots. Now, over here on country, I've got, I got three types of hotspots. I've got a, a DVAP, I've got a mega, and I've got a open spot or shark. I'll call it a shark. All right. Now, over here, I've got uh, other sub, another name, so I'm going to call it a um, uh, DVAP 440, a DVAP 2 meters, I've got a uh, shark. And I've got a mega, and I'm just going to put 440, and you could put mega two meters. Okay, so now once we do that, select OK, and then uh, we're going to scroll up to the top of the uh, repeater list. So grab a little bar right here, and we're going to add. Now you can see with the new uh, firmware, they have uh, added RPT1 and RPT2 to make things simpler. So what we're going to do is go to a frequency. And um, the first one I'm going to do is my, uh, my shark, which is uh, 4, 3, 8, decimal, 1, 6, 0. Uh, hit tab and it, op it should open up. There you go. Now, for the name, that's just the alpha name. I'm going to call it W6GPS um, Shark. Hit the tab button. World region, we're going to call that Hotspots. Country, it's, it's a shark hotspot and the group it's a shark I could call it shark 440 but I'll just call it shark now uh, I found that here for shark you can put direct and direct again hit tab um, the offsets off. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything there. So it's going to be a simplex. No shift. Make sure that's off. Okay. Now uh, some hot spots. So we're gonna we're gonna do another one here. You have to kind of cl cl click it there, and that's going to be my. Um, I'm going to make a um, one for my um, T 
220. Um, maybe not 220. How about uh, I got another uh, uh, 440. So the frequency I want to put in there is 435 decimal 500. Zero, zero. Hit tab. All right. So I want to call this one is um, it's another W6GPS and you can tab it over here. You're going to select hot spots and this one is for a uh, mega and uh, it's a, a mega 440 and this one here um, you have to do a little bit different. It's W6GPS hit the space button, then backspace, and uh, that's gonna be like the B, because when you set up your mega, it asks you if, if you like a B or C module, so make sure you, it's your call sign, and in the last space, put the, uh, put the module you're in. Tab on over, and it's gonna be WS6GPS. This is your call sign. Hit, hit space it over, backspace, and that's G for gateway. Hit tab and just move it on over. So, so you keep on doing this, and let's see, I've got a, another frequency. I can go to uh, check my hot spots. So I got four, seven, five, excuse me. Four three five decimal five zero zero. That's another one. Actually, it's four. Anyway, you get the idea. So, when you know, maybe you only have one. Maybe you only have one hot spot. But what I wanted to show you is, if you have multiple hot spots, multiple frequencies, you can uh, break them down, and that's where you go into the edit area, uh, create the hot spot. Uh, create maybe the different types of hotspot names and then the, the various ones 2 meters, 440, uh, I've got a DVAP uh, uh, 220 so I wanted to add that to there alright now once you get all that done uh, you hit OK so this, this is you've got your repeater list and uh, the repeaters you want, uh, the D Star repeaters you want. You've got your uh, various uh, hotspots program. What you're going to do right here is export repeater list to file. So you're going to bring that up. And what I what I think you should do is turn the radio off, of course. Take the SD card out. Point it in, put it in there, and uh, give it a file name. So I'll give it, uh, I'll give it today's date, uh, 18 January 18. So, and then I'm going to point it to the desktop. Okay. So now, once we've we've saved it out, we can we can say save yes, and we can give it a name. Uh, I'll call it test. This saves it into your programming software. So we, when we exit out of here, uh, here's a file that I created right here. And I'm actually going to use the file that I created yesterday. But anyway, the file you created on the desktop. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, the SD card uh, out of the radio you're going to put it in a little adapter right here. Now this is this is what's great about this is you're not making a connection to the radio. You're just you're doing it by um, uh, op by opening up the um, the SD card. There's Kenwood, and there's the different areas. You're going to go to settings. Now here's where if you want to add a call sign list, um, a data repeater list. So we're going to open up repeater list and here's some of the repeater lists that I already have. And what you can do now is you can take the uh, the 
the file that we, we created, and I'm going to use this file right here. It's already on my card, so it says copy and replace, but let's, let's just take it off. Let's just delete it. And uh, pick it up again, drag it over. Remember, you're putting it into the Kenwood THD74 settings repeater list. Okay. Go ahead and remove the card uh, from, remove the little card right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. You're going to put it in the radio. Contacts up, just like so. Turn the radio on. Uh, go to menu and go to the, um, the file manager, SD card, and you're going to import and you're going to import the repeater list only. And uh, that file that I created yesterday, uh, the 17th, I hit that, and it's going to ask what market. And when you load it up, it hits OK, and the radio reboots. Now, I can go right in here by hitting the bottom toggle, the 6 o'clock toggle below in ENT. I can go in here to repeater list. Hot spots. I can slow my DVAP. I got a 220, I got 440. I can go to mega. I can select my mega. And there's my um, frequency. I can go back here to repeater list. Go back to hot spots. I can choose shark. Open that up. And uh, key it down, see if it's working. And open spots working. So. This is how you can uh, maybe repair your repeater list after you've done a firmware update and you reset the radio, but you didn't back it up. Uh, one thing to note, note here, if you do go in here, File Manager, and you export the configuration data export file, that exports everything. So that's, that's your radio say, settings and all your DSTAR repeater list. So anytime you're doing any kind of update, you always want to back it up onto the um, SD card. You know, you can back it up, hook it up to the computer and everything, but you can uh, actually uh, do this do this uh, without tethering it uh, to your radio. So I hope that helps you, helps you understand. And of course, you know, if, back to uh, DR mode here, uh, I can, uh, I've got a good GPS fix, so uh, it, it picks up Chattanooga perfectly, like it's supposed to, and uh, that's uh, um, that way I can, uh, I can hit new, new by, nearby repeaters and it ch chooses it right down there. So I hope that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So if you have any questions, just send me an email at uh, w6gps at yahoo.com.